haven't had one of those in a while. Rebecca Hardgrave was quite the histrion. Oh, hard. Oh. Right. Yes, yes, we saw you. We'll get right on it. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lost the epistle of John, I believe. Chapter 1. Verses 8 and 9. You know your Bible. Some. Red McRaith, Banisher. We can talk scripture if you like. John Rumble. Oh, not really in the mood to talk, sir. Is anything the matter? Perhaps I may be of service. I don't need anything from the likes of you. A ghost screams bloody murder, yet he needs no help. Forgive me if I'm being nosy, but have you recently suffered a bereavement? I, I don't know what you've heard. But you, keep your oar out of my boat. I trespass on your grief. I'm sorry. What happened? You speak well enough, but you stick your nose where you should not, like the rest. My dear, beloved wife is gone. Abigail is gone. That's all you need to know. It was an accident, a terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. An accident? How did she die? She fell. She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. What do you want? What's the word round here? Word about what? Full of youth and hope. Voices from the dead ripple here. Should we take a glimpse at the past? Messed this up, didn't I? Now the past is mine to see. Stop walking away from me each time we are to converse. This is not conversation, Abigail. We do not converse. Not no more. You berate me, you belittle me, Abigail. Aye, I'll walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die and you not believe That's enough. right! I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself? And give me some goddamn peace! <laughs> oh. 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 
Not a very nice man, turns out. The resentment between these two ran deep. A harsh price to pay for forgetting who you are. This place is awfully tidy. Since when do you care? Says the untidiest woman ever to walk this earth. His wife Abigail had turned her back on him in the bedroom. And not in a good way. That's not the Puritan way. Why feel guilty if her death was an accident? He should feel guilty. He treated her like shit. An old key. Spectral stains about the bed. Hence John's unspeakable dreams. Do not deprive one another. A letter speaking of unspeakable dreams. Scriptures about marital relations. I think we have a lead. What do you want? It's... One thing to argue with your wife. It's another to push her over the edge. Abigail was in distress. Yet all you could offer in loving kindness was to tell her to kill herself. Abigail had an accident. A terrible accident. I love my wife. I loved her. The man doth protest too much, methinks. You argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business. That's fair to say. Step carefully. Keep him talking. You troubled by your dreams. Perhaps I can help. I... How do you... How could you know that? You've been prying. How dare you? Your house is haunted. Your wife. We want to help. My wife is gone, and you know nothing of my troubles. You met Abigail in Selby, I believe. We... I... We were very young. I saw her at the meeting house. She had in her hand a rosy red apple. I haven't thought of Selby for a long, long time. That apple neither. We were married in months. We were young. Too young. Tell me more about Abigail. God gave her more wits than most. But she wasn't shy about it. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, I tell her. She had too much passion. She dwelt in earthly desires. And that's a problem how? When she stopped attending worship, I knew she was lost. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you.
This will be the cliff John mentioned. Watch your step. Wasn't I always? You don't want a garden. This must be what I've for. This isn't open yet. Watch out. My heart sinks when I look at him, and I can't help but wonder, do I still love him? I'm burdened and ashamed and guilty because I don't love him. And yet I do. I don't care that we are childless. I don't care that we are poor. It was always the two of us. That was our promise to each other. Abigail wasn't alone. Who was with her? I wonder what they were saying. You must find the place you fell from. What do we have here? A safe haven. Shelter from the turmoil. A man who offers only disdain is owed no loyalty. Remember what he promised when you came to New Eden. He is a failure of a man. He puts you down to raise himself up. Don't be his weakling, Abby. Act! Ah. Uh, the other side of the conversation. Those mirrors feel like ghost ties, but I don't think they are. There's an inscription, Ethel Bly. We should ask John about it. I wonder who Abigail was talking to. She sounded devious. Who benefits from belittling a servant? Lover, jealous friend, something worse. Banishes. At last you're here. You speak. I speak and I follow. I needed to be sure you'd take my side. We're banishers. We don't take sides. So noble. You must feel so very fortunate. What's with the hide and go seek? Why manifest now? I'm stronger now. Stronger? How? Oh. What's your reckoning, Banisher? I reckon you've infected John's dreams. You plague him with horrible visions. <laughs> John's sinful thoughts are his own. He did not need me to die to have them. Don't indulge it, Red. I died at the bottom of that cliff, you know. I was alone. For hours. In agony. No one missed me. No one came. John did not come. I thought John was the one who pushed you. Didn't he? Even before my death, he packed my bags. He wanted me out. 
I did not know how badly his hatred burned. But when he saw me dead, I saw it in his face. Behind the shock, he was relieved. What happened to you, Abigail? What do you think happened? We're asking the questions here. Are you? So, what happened to you, Abigail? A man happened to me. A bitter, pitiful world happened to me. I had a life in Yorkshire. Work I loved. I never wanted to come here. That doesn't entirely answer the question. You're a capable woman. Were. As were you. So how did you allow a man to bind you to this realm? You first. <laughs> I am not bound here by the weakness of a man who cannot let me go. We found pieces of a mirror that used to belong to you. Give them to John. By rights, the mirror is his. You hate John, but you want him to have your things. Isn't that just a little contradictory? You're a ghost haunting a banisher. Isn't that just a little contradictory? How was it for you? To die, I mean. I'm not discussing this with you. Betrayed. Again. Failed. Again. Making excuses for the one you love. Again. What? No. And how did it feel to be deceived by your best friend? By your first love? Enough. Who found your body? Who told John about your... fall? I don't recall, but does it matter? One moment I was alive and lost in thought, the next I was dead and bound to John. And to him, my death felt... Good. The deepest comfort. Solace most profound. I felt those feelings. But those feelings were not mine. We aren't going anywhere. We'll keep digging. Yes. Do that. That was odd. She was odd. A dead woman with a shite bag husband. Nothing odd about it. You never miss a chance to drag the husbands down, do you? Excuse me? I... Let's just move on. Yes, let's. Does this mirror mean anything to you? <laughs> Never thought I'd see that again. That was Abigail's. Where did you find it? At the cliff, where she died. I see. Any idea where she got it? it looks old. Heirloom, maybe. She found it in the woods. Kept it with her. I remember it because... We fought about it that night. We were low on money and I wished to sell it. She would not have it. Her vanity got the better of her. Is he lying? I can't tell. There's an inscription. Ethel Bly. Mean anything to you? Bly? That's her old master's name. I don't know anything more. Abigail said she found the mirror in the woods. I had no cause to doubt her. Swear it. 
I'll not beat about the bush, John. You're haunted. Your emotions are a shambles, and Abigail's ghost has latched onto them. You feel like shite, and that'll be why. Deny it. And I know you won't wish to hear it, but I've been sent to help. Trust me. Abigail died. She died. She can't come back. It's a trick. The devil's trick. He took her. He's trying to trick me too. No one's tricking you, John. No one but the resentful, bitter ghost of your dead wife. The devil toys with the darkness of the soul, and you, sir, are lying. He's a tough nut. Squeeze hard. You wanted Abigail gone. Despite your love, despite your loyalty and your faith, you wanted her to disappear from your life. No. I loved her. And so you keep saying. But that tiny part of you that felt relief when you learned of her death is also very real. Both feelings are true. Both feelings can exist together inside of you. I had bad thoughts. Terrible thoughts. But that's all they were. Just thoughts. She wouldn't talk to me. She wouldn't lie with me. I was her husband. She deserved your compassion, too. Instead, you wished her dead. I did not want her gone. Not really. Not in my heart, I swear it. What does God have to say about that? These are the words of him that hath a devil. John, chapter 10, verse 21. Go to hell. Come, let him sit with his own guilt. Bly Estate. This must be where the Rumbles used to work. Another haunted house. Jolly good. Can you find a way around the locked door? I take the heart, you take the roots. Antea, what did Abigail mean when she talked about you being betrayed by the first person you loved? Need another key. from the past linger here.
I raise for now the Veil of Shadows. I don't need you no more. What are you doing? <laughs> Foolish girl. Please, no. Please don't hurt him. No! Whatever's in this mirror is neither good. Nor Spectre. <laughs> Where is Abigail? Abigail has left us, my dears. By what name should we know you? Always that same question, and you know better than to ask it, Antea Duarte. I don't need a name to send the likes of you back from whence you came. I've done it before. How does she know your name? It's not Abigail. It's a... well, some would call it a demon. A bloody pest is what it is. You call us demons, but from where we watch in the great below, we are angels. You poor, transparent, knowable you are upside down. <laughs> What have you done with Abigail? She's here, in a way. I am the pool, deep and dark. She is the ripple that spreads and dies away, returning to the whole, a thing no longer. You're possessing her? Huh? We are friends. Such good friends. No, you're a lie. Vapor in the darkness. Really? When you sit beneath a tree alone with no one to talk to, no one to play with, how easy it is to lose yourself. You know nothing about me. Ignore it, Antea. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Poor, transparent, knowable you. Target couples. You nest inside their hearts and plant the seed of resentment there and grow it until it flowers and destroys them. We've felt you in our hearts too. You came to me. You all come to me. When all you have lost becomes too much to bear. Tell me, little girl, how does it feel to watch the world make ready to pass you by? Do not answer, Antea. You said it yourself. We shouldn't engage with it. I know what I said, and I know what I'm doing. Get on with it, then. You're the Banisher now. You get on with it. Right. Not Ghost, not Spectre. What are you? I am I. The bringer from beyond the gates. Yes, yes, we know all about the void. No, you do not. But you will. You will know the void inside out, and you'll know nothing else. Abigail tried to smash the mirror. She tried to break your hold on her. What happened to her? Are you a happy man, Red Rudy McGraith? Answer the question. Do you feel hollow? What would you do to once again feel her touch? 
to feel her finger trace lines upon your cheek. What do you want here? Do you feel guilty for leaving your family behind? Was it worth their sacrifice? Are you ashamed? Do you want to hear it from Aoife's mouth? Your sister can't be far. I... no. Abigail wanted to protect John. To the end, she wanted you gone. Abigail made her choice, but she lacked the strength to live with it. That's enough. Let's get this over with. Let's. Oh, get back here. I hate when they do that. I take the heart. That's enough, Abigail. Step away from him. What will you do? Banish me? Banish poor, sweet, innocent Abigail? Send us both into the darkness. You know well enough, Antea, my child. There is no ascent for Abigail now. There's no escape from the likes of me. Unless I grant it. I offer you a trade. A bargain. Abigail's ghost for John. Give John his due, and Abigail is free. Abigail, if there is still a part of you in there, I'm sorry. There is sacrifice in love, but love should not be all sacrifice. You're in an awful situation. We'll put an end to it. Please. No. Don't send me down. Hell awaits me there. A terrible banquet in which I am the meal. That's enough. We are not banishing Abigail today, but the demon that has taken her. It's a gamble. John! John! Please, help me. I'd help Abigail in a heartbeat, but you are not really her. Red, put an end to this circus. Go back to the Void, wherever you are, and to your masters, whatever they may be. I'll take my prize to the great below, and there I shall face. You are invited to the banquet, all of you. But especially you and the Eduarte. She knows about you. She knows all about you. And she's waiting. To the living, death to the dead. I. Where am I? What. What happened? Banisher? It's over, John. The entity haunts you no longer. I. I had such terrible dreams. Was it the devil? It was an evil spirit. A bad one. Ah, I see. It was a succubus wearing my wife's face. Thank you, Banisher. I need to... I need to pack up and go. John Rumble, 
a man of healthy appetite who says he loved his wife. When Abigail rejected you, he resented it. You took your anger out on her. I just wanted my Abigail back. Dedicated and devoted as she used to be. The Lord be my witness. I failed to love her as she was. But I am no murderer. In her misery, she was easy prey for the malignant spirit who now toys with you both. For those failings, you shall take the blame. Playtime is over. Yes! Abigail is free! Now send my masters one more soul for the feast! Do it! Not this one, demon. This one is ours. What's this? You'd steal my prize! We had a deal. All the more reason to hate you and Teodwate. All the more reason to wait for you. Prepare yourself, John. You too will be judged, Red McCraith. You too will be weighed and measured. I... I know. Thing wasn't lying. I kept our word. I hope it's not another trick. 